Hello, hi, so let me quickly do this intro because wow, ESCOM is on a roll, guys. Stage two and three, okay. I'm not sure what stage we're on anymore, but nonetheless, we're gonna be preparing snook fish today. Hopefully you like it, hopefully you enjoy it. If you don't, maybe you'll learn to love it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, in the spirit of preparing a classic snook fish, this is how I prepare it. So I'm gonna start off by adding some oil in our frying pan, and then I'm gonna chop these onions nicely. But you're more than welcome to chop them finely if you want. I'm just gonna transfer them into my pot, just like this, and prepare them to fry. And then I'm gonna move on and start preparing my peppers. Now, you're more than welcome to use half a pepper of each, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a full pepper of red, yellow, and green peppers. Because, yeah, I like a fully stuffed snookfish as opposed to like an understuffed snookfish. Then it just defeats the purpose. Anyway, now I'm going to add some garlic. Make sure it's one of those um, granulated garlics, you know, not like the finely smooth garlic. It doesn't necessarily have the same texture and it just, it, it maybe gives you the same taste, but I don't know. It just, it tastes a little different when it is mixed up with food. Anyway, now I'm going to add my mushrooms and my peppers to my onions and I'm going to fry, fry, fry and make sure they are ready, well and cooked so that I can transfer them to my snookfish. And now I'm going to spray or oil my oven pan so that nothing sticks to it. And then I'm going to take my hard duty foil and place it on the inside of my pan because this is a very important component, especially if you're going to be oven cooking your snookfish. And then I'm going to spray a little bit more just so that everything is smooth and nothing sticks. And then I'm going to add my garlic butter. You're more than welcome to use any brand that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and use this pomelot one because it's the one that I'm always using Jay, when I do snookfish. Now we're going to go ahead and check on our peppers, mushrooms and our onions to check if everything has fried and cooked properly. And once everything is cooked properly, you're going to then switch off your stove, move your pot and then take the one half of your snookfish and you're going to place it inside the foil like this, just as I'm doing. And then you're going to take all your fillings and you're going to pour them right on the inside of this bottom half of your snookfish. If you have a little bit left over of some garlic butter, you can go ahead and transfer that just before you place the other top like I'm doing right now on top of your fillings and your bottom half of your snookfish. It should ultimately look like it cannot close because that's what you want. And you wanna make sure that you seal it nicely and that you close it on all ends and that there's no room for error because there will be a little bit of juice coming out but that's okay as long as you manage to close it with the foil then all is good you're gonna cook it in the oven for about 45 minutes if not 50 minutes on 200 degrees and once it is done you're going to then unwrap it to check if it has cooked fully and if it's still a little bit uncooked you can pop it back into the oven just make sure that you close it again with the foil pop it into the oven for an extra 15 minutes on 200 degrees and then you can proceed by cutting it and eating it with your friends or whoever it is that you are preparing the snookfish for if not for yourself because it's going to be just as great trust me believe me this is not a lie okay it is not a lie and listen you're more than welcome to also transfer a little bit of that filling of what's left over from your pot right over here so that you can enjoy it with your fish because ultimately you want all those flavors to come together and if you're missing a little bit much like myself here again transfer some of what was left over right onto your plate and then enjoy the snook fish with everything together oh and you can fry it or grill it i just prefer to cook it in the oven it's less admin for me ah that's the frame i wanted to see now don't that look so good Oh, whew, yeah. 